So I like to start out with long threads. And if your bobbin thread is not showing at the bottom, pull the top thread, roll your hand wheel back on the side, pull the back of the top thread and raise your needle, keep pulling. And as you're pulling, the bobbin thread will begin to come up in a loop. And then you can grab that loop and pull it out. Like that. I'll put the foot back on and then you want to pull the top thread and the bobbin thread. I like to wrap it around the foot in the back and then pull them so that you have long threads to start out with. Then you want to change your stitch length to a basting stitch. It doesn't have to be the longest. You can do a little bit under if you want, but I will do 5.0 for this demonstration. So I want my first basting stitch to be sewn 3 eighths of an inch away from this edge. And then the second stitch I want to be 7 eighths of an inch away from the edge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the final stitch 5 eighths of an inch away from this edge, which should be right in the middle of these two basting stitches. So you can use some type of guide to make sure your stitches are lined up evenly. You can use tape on your machine or some type of foot or maybe even the marks on the top of your plate here. So I'm going to go ahead and just create the basting stitches 3 eighths and 7 eighths away from this edge. When you stop sewing, lift your presser foot, pull out a nice length of the two threads, and then cut. And now I will go ahead and create the second stitch. So after the stitches are sewn, it will look something like this and you will have two threads on the top, two threads on the bottom, and you can pull either one. You can pull the bottom threads, which are the bobbin threads, and I will go ahead and pull those here. And you can pull from the other side also. These threads over here are a little bit shorter than the other side. So you want to pull the threads until they look pretty even. Next, I like to take a pin Stick it into the fabric, grab two of the threads, and wrap it around the pin in a figure eight motion. And I just wrap it around just a couple of times to secure the fabric. So it won't pull out when you are gathering it to another piece of fabric. And then I will do the same thing on the other side. Now this is the piece of fabric that I want to gather this piece onto. So I am going to match the two pieces up and stick pins in the top just to hold them down together. So I will do that now. Pin everything together, make sure it lines up pretty nicely. Now, 
Now I'm going to change my stitch to a regular stitch, which in my case I'm going to use 2.5. I'm going to move my guide and now I am going to sew a stitch which is 5 eighths of an inch away from this edge which is actually going to make the stitch go right in the middle of these two basting stitches. You can backstitch, I didn't just for the purposes of this demonstration. So this is how the gathering stitches are looking. Let me show you the other side. And then you want to go in and you want to remove your basting stitches, you can remove the bottom. You can also remove the top if you want. I'm gonna remove the bottom stitch, which is the one that you see here. And I don't always take out this top one, but for sure I wanna take out the bottom one. So I'm gonna go ahead, use my seam ripper, and remove these stitches. And this is the finished look. This is the front, and this is how it looks in the back with only the 7 eighths of an inch stitch that we put in initially pulled out. The first one, the 3 eighths of an inch basting stitch is still at the top.